Hey guys, Rumbling Man here, and in today's video, we are comparing the only two five-string passive jazz basses that Squire currently makes. So make sure you stick with me. So guys, welcome to the Rumble Man channel today. We're going to hear a little more of those basses in just a moment so that you get a great idea of the differences in the sound between the two of them. I just want to say a quick welcome to the Rumble Man channel. If you have not been here before, this is a bass and guitar channel where we take a look at basses, guitars, and related gear. We have a great time. So if you like videos like this one, I encourage you to go on and hit the subscribe button and hang with me more often, okay? And if you've been here before, welcome back. Now, if you hear some boomy thunder behind me, uh, a subtropical storm of some sort has rolled into my home of the Florida Gulf Coast, so I apologize. So bear with me there. Uh, I'm just trying to get this video shot today while I still have time to do so. So awesome, uh, welcome and welcome back. We're looking at two bases today. So as of right now, right now it is late July of 2020. And at this particular moment in time, Squire only makes three five string basses, okay? One of them is in the Contemporary series and that's kind of an active jazz with some soap bar humbuckers. And then the other two are straight up five string passive jazz basses. And I have both of them sitting right here in this room with me, okay? And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each one of them real quick, just so you get the idea. And then we're gonna hear some more demos. So let's check them out. All right, so first up is the Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass 5 String. This is a really awesome bass. It retails at about $449 new, okay? And on Reverb and other sites like that, uh, there's the ability to get it for less. So I do have links in the description of this video where you can check all of that out, okay? It's a really great bass. It's made like uh, a 70s jazz bass, except in a five string. Um, so the pickup spacing is gonna be a little bit different than 60s basses and modern jazz basses as well. Um, this is a brand new one that I've got right here. It actually belongs to a good friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, Low and Lobster. So make sure you check out his channel. Uh, really great guy, and he's been helping me uh, find some more basses to review. Uh, good friend of mine. So this bass is really, really awesome. It's built like a tank. I'm not gonna go into all the specs about this bass just because I already reviewed it right here on the Rumbling Man channel and you can see a link in the description of this video to my uh, full review of this bass uh, but it's great it sounds good it's not a particularly noisy bass um, it's you know coated in a nice gloss finish really nice instrument okay let's see the affinity now this is my Squire affinity jazz bass 5 uh, it has actually been with me many years I bought it in like Seattle Washington or something I've lived in like three states with this thing I've played it live I've played it on studio projects and believe it or not uh, the bass is all stock other than the strings I've kept it stock all these years um, I mean, a couple cons about this thing is it's real noisy when you don't have your hand on the strings to ground it. Um, that said, 
I'm amazed by the job it does for only retailing at around $249. In fact, when I first got this base uh, quite some time ago, when I was a young guy who didn't really know anything, I did a review of it right here on YouTube. Very old review you can see of this thing. Who knows, maybe I'll re-review it. Some years ago, I sanded off the Squire logo from the headstock. I mean, this thing has been through it, but still has it where it counts and still sounds smooth like it always did. Uh, so that is the affinity that we're gonna check out today. So though they're both Squire bases, these bases are about $200 apart in retail price. And there are some differences, but before we discuss the differences, I wanna do another demo. Uh, can a jazz bass sound exactly like a precision bass? No, it cannot, but you can try to get close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the neck pickup of each of these bass guitars. And we're gonna start out listening to the neck pickup with the tone knob rolled back to about a five, about halfway, and hear how that sounds. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the neck pickup some more, roll the tone up to 10. And then at the end of this next demo, we're gonna listen to both pickups on 10 to refresh our ears with a little more of that sound. Let's check them out. So very cool, but there are a lot of differences between these two bases. But in addition to the differences, there are similarities as well. For instance, uh, these bodies, they're both poplar bodies. Both bases are about the same weight. I'd say the classic vibe is a little heavier, uh, which probably has to do with the nicer parts, um, et cetera, uh, the more finished wood, et cetera. Um, but when you get away from the poplar body, there are still some similarities. I mean, the necks aren't too incredibly different. Um, the one of the classic vibe feels a little wider uh, from a vertical standpoint. It seems like the nut's a little narrower on the affinity, believe it or not. And then obviously you have two very different neck finishes. You know, over here you have what they claim is a satin urethane, and then over here, which is a vintage tinted uh, gloss urethane. 
Maple Neck. So two very different feeling experiences. Um, my opinion is I really like the feeling of the Neck on the Classic Vibe from a finish standpoint, but I get around a little easier uh, using the Neck on the Affinity, believe it or not. And then the tuners are different on the headstocks. As you can see, this one has five inline tuning keys and this one has one on the other edge of the headstock. They're also crafted in two different countries, um, one of them being China and this one being Indonesia. If you look at the bodies, you know, it, if you really look at them for a while, it's not hard to tell that one of them is a 70s style body, the other is a 60s style body. Um, the Classic Vibe has, you know, uh, it has a maple fretboard with inlays. The Affinity has Indian Laurel, or back when I got this one, they were probably still using Rosewood. So a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, but one big difference that is kind of the center of our comparison today is the pickups, because the Squire Classic Vibe has Fender-designed Alnico pickups, while the Squire Affinity has a couple ceramic pickups. Believe it or not, I've done a ton of recording with this guitar with the stock pickups. It's about time I change them, but they're not that bad. The only thing that really bugs me about them is they just kind of hiss at you a whole lot uh, if you don't have your hand on them to ground them or if you're not running them together, uh, which can be standard with most basses, but this one hisses a little more, I have found. But anyway, they're two really cool Squires. Uh, they're both five string. And honestly, it's hard to go wrong getting either one because the Affinity, uh, you can always make upgrades to it to turn it into a better bass. The Classic Vibe really, in my opinion, is a great bass right out of the box. And I'm gonna tell you which one I would choose if I were you after this next demo. We need to listen to the bridge pickup a little bit, okay? Over the years, there have been many bass players known for playing primarily on the bridge pickup of a jazz bass. Uh, some of them for finger style and some of them for slap style. So we're gonna slap and do finger style on the bridge pickup, and then we're gonna wrap it up slapping on both pickups yet again. Let's check it out. So obviously some great tones. After that demo, what I can say is I feel like the sound of the classic vibe is a little more articulate, a little more bright and well-defined, whereas the sound of the affinity is a little more muddy. It's not bad, it's not horrible, it's just kind of a muddier, uh, less articulate uh, sound to it. So which one do I recommend for you? Well, the thing is, if you are not really on a particularly strict budget, and you could get either one of these bases without it really costing you your house, I would definitely go with the Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass uh, for sure. It is a really solid bass. Um, it doesn't feel like it could ever give you any problems. Really, I mean, there are great upgrades you can make to it, but even if you kept it stock, it could probably hold up for years, sound great, feel great, and do a great job for you. That said, if you are on a budget, I personally think you can't really go wrong with the Affinity because the thing is, if you don't like the pickups, well, you can always change them. You can always get some other pickups down the line in the future when you can afford to. Uh, you know, if there's hardware you don't like, if you don't like the bridge, you can replace it for not that much money. You know, Wilkinson bridges don't cost a fortune. So really, it's hard to go wrong with either one of these bases. You really can't completely miss uh, by getting either one. But if you do have the option, I would definitely go with the classic vibe just because it's a really high quality bass. So if you had experience with either one of these particular basses, do you have one? Is the one you like better than the other? Is the one you're planning on getting 
I would love to chat base with you in the comments of this video, so hit me up. Also, if you enjoyed today's demos, if you got value out of this content, do me a huge favor, go on and hit the thumbs up button so that YouTube will be more likely to recommend my video in searches in the search engines, okay? Also, please subscribe to the Rumble Million channel. Love to have you subscribe. We got lots of bass videos, uh, guitar videos, all kinds of stuff, so I'd love to have you along. Uh, also, all my social media, Patreon, all that stuff is in the link in the description of this video, so hit me up. I'd uh, love to be in connection with you as we all move forward together as musicians. That's what it's all about. We're all in this thing together. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you on the next video, all right? Peace out.